What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. So recently, I'd say within the past couple weeks, I was contacted by Elizabeth Arden, who is a very uh, big distributor of fragrances, I think under the name Elizabeth Arden, and they also license, own the licensing to other um, fragrance brands. A lot of, um, I think, celebrity fragrances go through Elizabeth Arden, including the fragrance we're gonna be talking about today. They sent this to me again a couple weeks ago and uh it's a new release and it's funny because it came in a box i'll give you guys some pictures so you can see what was going on they sent me this box i was looking for something that said elizabeth arden on it there's nothing on it that said that it just said it was coming from some guy named john in new york city so i was like how did john get my address i don't know john why are you sending me stuff and this was in the box after i opened it up here's penny checking it out it's actually a pretty nice presentation there. I think that copper wire you see is supposed to represent like a guitar string and that is kind of a theme with the presentation of this fragrance. So upon opening it up, this is what they sent me. We're talking about Sean Mendez signature. If you don't know Sean Mendez, I actually did not know who he was, but I had heard his music before. I just didn't know who did it, who, um, who had done this music that I'd heard. He's a popular, um, Canadian uh, pop music artist. I guess he's doing well for himself. So he just came out with his first fragrance under his own name, but again, distributed and licensed by Elizabeth Arden. And here it is. So again, it came in this big plastic container. I took off the top already. You'll probably see that in the pictures. Kind of cool in the front, has a little guitar thing. That's cool. Now, the bottle is actually here. And this is what it looks like. It's Pretty minimalist, pretty simple looking bottle. And on this cap, you can see they have this kind of guitar string looking woven design around the cap, but it is not metal. It's actually plastic. This entire cap is plastic. And you'll see here that there's this little chain thing. There's actually supposed to be something there. And it's this little tag that's supposed to represent a guitar pick has his initials there. I've been hearing people have been having this issue with pulling the bottle out of this box. It's so tightly packed in there and you see this sticking out just waiting to be pulled and you're like, okay, let me see if I can pull, boom, pops right off. Kind of a faulty design in my opinion, uh, but that's what it is. This is just for show. I'll put that aside. So what this set has come with is two things that raise a red flag with me. Not in a terrible way, but just things to note. A roller ball. So literally, you can pop the cap off, and I'm, I'm not gonna try to take this out. It's so tightly in there. Um, and you can roll it on your skin. And a body lotion. Now, both of these products are products that you normally see with women's fragrances. So you might be wondering, okay, this is a women's fragrance. Well, technically it's marketed as a unisex fragrance. But these two items, again, this is mostly what you see in women's fragrances here, especially the roller ball. That's something you don't see in a lot of men's. Not that there's anything wrong with a roller ball, like men can't use it, but you just don't see it that often. So what does it smell like? You might be wondering. This is the second time I've put it on my hand since I've got it. I've had it on here maybe 45 minutes to an hour. What I can say about what this smells like, it smells like a woman's fragrance <laughs> it smells like perfume and it smells like a young woman's fragrance like a high school girl would be wearing this very sweet just really sweet fruity uh, kind of floral main note and here's dolce de leche which you don't see used all that much another fragrance that I know I've smelled this in before is actually a Britney Spears fragrance I think it's called Private Show. And on Fragrantica, this does have comparisons to that fragrance. Um, there's also honey, there's also pineapple, there's apple, there's rose. Apparently there's musk and woods in the base. I don't really get that at all. Maybe a little bit of musk, but not really. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to say about this fragrance. Um, it doesn't last all that long. I, it maybe lasts like three hours on the skin. It projects kind of for the first half an hour or so. So here's what I have to say about this fragrance. This is not a men's fragrance to me, not to say that a man can't wear it, especially if you like it. 
rock whatever you want to wear that's totally cool but like a masculine man like a grown adult man wearing this is just a little out of place i personally do not see myself wearing this fragrance this is the scenarios i can see uh with a, a male wearing this and bear with me here uh this is again this is a very juvenile fragrance so if a girl doesn't want to wear this which i think most girls will be more prone to purchase and wear this fragrance than men um, because again it is a little juvenile and also it is definitely feminine and also it's marketed after Shawn Mendes which a lot of young girls seem to really be into but I can also see uh, you high school boys out there if you are watching this and you're in high school and maybe you're dating a girl you have a girlfriend I think your girlfriend if she likes Shawn Mendes or if she likes Britney Spears or if she's into the you know the whole pop scene or if she on the fragrance side of things if she likes these real sweet and kind of teeny fragrances she will probably like this on herself but also on you again this is not a masculine fragrance but if you already have a girlfriend and she's into this kind of stuff then she's probably going to like this on your skin and she's going to want you to wear it so just uh that could be a market for this fragrance it's, i know that's a little far-fetched but again i uh, just ask you to bear with me so not a men's fragrance this is a girl's fragrance not to say again men can't wear it, but it's not it doesn't come off as unisex to me at all i could not see myself pulling this off comfortably at all this is beyond metrosexual this again this is fruity and flowery and oh, you know not for me but i'm thankful to elizabeth arden for sending this over thanks for letting me smell this and let me experience it could i recommend it again kind of a niche audience for that younger more feminine yeah that's what i could do so if any of you out there are watching this and you find interest in it i'd recommend checking it out also it is relatively cheap i don't think it's cheap retail and i would not recommend buying it retail i'll go online maybe on amazon or something i'm really not sure i haven't looked and they do have smaller sizes this i believe is the is this a 100 mil bottle yeah this is 100 mil um i think it comes in smaller sizes maybe even a 30 mil if you're interested in that anyway that's all i have to say thank you guys so much for tuning in peace i'll see you guys in the next one